All right, guys. This is uh, the final, uh, third and final video in a short series that uh, I wanted to share with you. In this one, I'm going to be using uh, just a regular cotton pair of denim jeans, blue jeans, I guess is what people call them. Um, this is another commonly available material that you can pretty much find anywhere in the urban environment, and. Uh, while there are other things that can still be used, I believe these three would be pretty much they'll they're they're not that difficult to find. Uh, just make sure that they're 100% cotton, and that's what I'm using. I'll be using regular wood ash too. Um, initially, guys, this was supposed to be um, private videos. These three videos were, but uh, my friend Mike and Jay. They wanted me to share it with everyone. Felt like that might as well. You know, I do have more material, but for the time being, I'm going to keep that under the wraps. But um, I'd like to con uh, throw out a congrats to my friend Jay. Uh, here recently, he had uh, not only has he gotten really good with a hand drill, but he showed and shared with me a private video um, submerging his hand drill set in water for I think it was two minutes and he was able to successfully get an ember um, and they took him like a, a few tries and he did it and I was like I was very happy I was very proud of him you know but I, I thought I'd throw a shout out he doesn't share videos but <laughs> I saw it and it was it was it was impressive you don't get many people out there who, who are willing to do that but uh, Jay man that was a good job Guys, if you'll notice, earlier, a few moments ago, I was actually uh, trying to um, work the fibers up at the top toward the end, similar to what I did with the t-shirt video. Sorry I was rambling there for a few moments, but uh, these videos are fairly explanatory. The rut of row isn't really that big of a deal. You can easily figure it out. But if you wanted to know, I was trying to fray the end out on the end that would be rolled up last on these blue jeans. And uh, you will see me get an ember here after a couple of times. He wants to try to unroll on me a few times, but just like in the t-shirt video, once you get it to roll up and you're able to get it to roll, you'll get an ember. You know, just, you know, put some more force down than you normally would and get it to rolling. The initial difficult part is to actually just to get it to roll without unrolling. Uh, once you can get that done, it's a foregone conclusion almost. You know, sorry if I'm not making much sense, guys. I've been away from making videos for a while. Yeah, it's trying to unroll on me here, so I decided to go ahead and roll it back up again. You'll find this out when using cloth materials. It can be a pain in the butt, but that's okay. You know, just. Keep at it until you get it to roll. Looks like uh, it's rolling pretty good here, but I think it wanted to unroll a bit. And once more, I'll have to roll it up again, but that's fine. You will see it will eventually catch. And once it does, boom, it doesn't take long. It's pretty hot right now. And I believe this would be the, it rose without unrolling for me right here. Yeah, I believe this is it right here. I got an ember. It's not that difficult. I mean, it's more difficult than like regular cotton, but it's not difficult. You just apply a little bit more downward pressure and you'll see. It, it's doable. You can get it. I have a nice ember here, and I will be panning it up in front for you guys to see in a few moments. Anyway, guys, this is going to include, or excuse me, <laughs> this is going to be the end of the short series of videos. This will be the conclusion. But anyway, uh, I hope this has been helpful for those who wanted to see some more commonly available materials. And uh, I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys. But anyway, have a good evening.